Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Can downloading images give you a virus? Images themselves are typically not capable of carrying executable code or malware. However, almost any image format, such as JPEG, PNG, and GIF, can be edited to conceal malware. How malware can be embedded in images. Malware can be hidden in an image using techniques like steganography. This involves replacing unused and redundant bits of the image with secret data, such as a virus. The image's visual appearance remains unchanged, making it difficult to detect the hidden malware. Vulnerabilities in image processing software. For the malware to execute, there must be vulnerabilities in the software processing the image. If an image viewer or other software has a vulnerability, attackers can exploit it to execute the malicious code embedded in the image. User interaction and permission. Malware embedded in an image generally requires user interaction to execute. Simply downloading an image is usually not enough. The user must open or process the image using vulnerable software for the malware to activate. Types of attacks. Image-based viruses can exploit browser and plugin vulnerabilities, especially in online ads. They can also target vulnerabilities in embedded systems or IoT devices that handle image processing. These attacks often involve polyglot files that different applications can interpret differently. Detection and prevention. Detecting image-based viruses involves steganalysis, which uses statistical or structural features to identify hidden data in images. Keeping software up to date with the latest security patches, using trusted antivirus programs, and performing regular virus scans are crucial for prevention. Risks and precautions. While the risk is relatively low, especially with modern browsers and updated software, it is still possible for malware to be executed if the image is processed by vulnerable software. Users should be cautious when downloading images from untrusted sources and ensure their antivirus software is active. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.